After an early career with Saatchi and Saatchi, it was WPP that made Sir Martin Sorrell famous. Over 30 years, he took it from an unknown company to the world's biggest advertising firm. After leaving the business in 2018, he looked like he was about to do it all over again, buying another shell company, this time S4 Capital. Within weeks, he launched an audacious $350 million bid for Media Monks, a creative digital production company, which he won. Then another big purchase, media consultancy Mighty Hive. It began the foundations for what Sorrell calls a new model for marketing businesses. The acquisitions came thick and fast during 2019. Caramel Pictures, BizTech, IMA, Firewood, Conversion Works, Datalicious Korea. So what next for S4 Capital as the world comes to terms with COVID-19? Sir Martin Sorrell, thank you so much for joining us today. I wanted to start by getting a broad overview from you on how business around the world has been impacted by the pandemic. Well, I mean, we're going through Q2, Juliana, and that, that must be the uh, the low, low point, or I think it will be the low point. It, it's what I've described elsewhere as being a bloodbath. Uh, a number of companies will be facing an existential crisis. It hit clients in various ways. This was a black swan event. Nobody was prepared for it, whether it were governments or countries or states or businesses. Uh, and I think as a result, people have overreacted. And I think that's quite rightly because one death is sufficient. So I, I'm not saying it's wrong that the action they take, but of course the, the action is always to try and prevent the worst outcomes. So it's hit, it's hit everybody. But Q2, I think, is the bottom, subject to reinfections, which everybody is worried about. And when temperatures fall, maybe as we go into autumn and winter, that might become a bigger issue. Obviously, a vaccine would 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 solve everything, an effective vaccine. But I'm I'm actually in the, the V-shaped school. I don't think everything will be V-shaped, Juliana, but there will be V-shaped recoveries, U-shaped, W-shaped, uh, L-shaped. Um, so it will be variations by sector. So it has hit everybody. Everybody on the globe has been affected by that. That's the unique thing about this recession, why it's so different. The only real, real similarity is to a world war that involved everybody. I mean, this is a silent war. It's not like any other recession that I've seen in 2008, dot-com bust of 2001, 9-11, the great financial crisis, or even the, the crunches that we saw in 91 and 92 in the previous millennium. So how has advertising and marketing been affected, not only by the event itself, but by the speed with which everything has really come on? Well, we, we've seen different effects in different segments and with different clients. If I look at our clients, and we have, what, 2,500 people in 30 countries at S4, we have revenues of about $400 million dollars. And there are billings, we control billings of about three billion. And about half of that 400 million of net revenues is in the what I call the tech bucket. And the other half is in CPG, consumer packaged goods, fast moving consumer goods, healthcare, and retail. There's been in travel and leisure, but we were lowly represented in that area. It wasn't a significant part of our business, neither small business. If you go back to the tech companies, they've been relatively unaffected. And we're seeing strength in tech advertising and marketing spending. And I think the tech companies have continued to spend uh, and invest in marketing at significant rates. But I think we've seen a uh, consistency of spending and switch from traditional or analog to digital, both in tech and in the other segments. I think the game here, if I can put it that way, is picking the V, picking the V-shaped recovery. What, what we have to do at S4 is to, to figure out which of the sectors, which of the verticals that are really going to benefit from what's going on and which of the verticals they're going to suffer. So picking those Vs and those Us are particularly important and avoiding the Ls or maybe even the Ws. But there's very varied implications for various sectors, some positive, some negative. Finally, the tech companies are going to emerge from this 
in my view, much stronger than when they went in. And they will be affected in the short term. But in the long term, the positions that these platforms are carving out for themselves will result in them having increased resonance. So the strong will get stronger.